What's up, y'all? Out here at the range, as you can see behind me, on a cold, dreary day out here. I mean, it's cloudy, windy, chilly out here. Winter's fighting its way back. It don't want to head out to building just yet. But I ain't gonna let that stop me from having some fun out here. I've done tested one new tool. Y'all should already saw the Henry. I'll leave a link up above if you hadn't seen that. Uh, I've done a couple other tests, and I got another new tool to check out and test out out here. And as y'all can see by the title, this time it's a Caltech. And to be more specific, it's the Caltech CMR30. This is basically the carbine or rifle version of the PMR30 pistol that they've got. The 22 Magnum. This one's got a 16 inch threaded barrel on it, threaded half by 28 on the end. Uh, it's got an adjustable collapsible stock on it. As you can see here, just pull it out. Got several different positions. Hard to do this with one handed, but as you can see there, fully opened up. Now down here is the little release on it where you can adjust it several different positions. I think it's got four or five different positions you can choose from. Uh, now this thing is pretty much fully ambidextrous. You got the, like I say, you got the stock adjuster down here. It's got an ambidextrous safety here. On the other side, same thing, safety on the other side. The charging handle, both sides. Now this is a non-reciprocating charging handle, so you don't have to worry about your hand placement on that, but it's on both sides there. The magazine release is down here on the bottom of the mag well, so either either handed can get to that. You got sling attachment points on both sides, as you can see there. It does have a full length pick rail on the top, and it actually came with these Magpul branded flip up sights, front and rear. So you got the flip up sights on it with a full rail on the top, and you got a full rail on the bottom and this is a metal rail aluminum whatever it's made out of it's not plastic rail so pretty nice unit there has a bolt release here on this side comes with two double stack 22 mag magazines these are the same ones out of the pmr so they're interchangeable definitely a pretty unique little tool here these have been out for quite a while but to be honest with you this is the first time i had seen one anywhere locally at all so i couldn't resist picking it up i've got something planned for this as far as the test comparing it with another tool in another caliber and y'all might can already guess what this would be a good fit to compare against but for today all we're going to do is put some groups on paper out there like we normally do we're going to plink a little steel maybe pop a couple bottles i don't know how how dramatic it's going to be with 22 mag on the two liters but we'll probably hit a couple bottles and we'll definitely run some boom booms for sure as far as the ammo i'm just going to run this american quality 40 grain jacketed hollow point this is that ammo that was sent to me by bill die so i'm still running out of this box this is a big old box 250 rounds so still plenty left in here but we're going to run a bunch of these through this thing today and see how it runs but enough with all that chit chat let me get things set up and let's have some fun all right, y'all, goofed up and didn't have my dog on camera on. I already took one five-shot group at the paper down there. Didn't have my camera on at all, but I've got them on now, and you can see the group that I took down there, the five rounds. It's kind of low down there towards the bottom of the target there. Um, so I'm going to do one more five-shot group. To be honest with you, I'm almost pretty happy with that just the way it is, but I moved my front sight post down a little bit. I'm going to see if I can bring that group up just a hair. Um, I'm not going to worry about getting too precise because um, I've actually got a red dot and a magnifier on the way that's uh that a company is sending me to do a little review on i'll probably stick that on here and then recite everything anyway so anyway let's put five more rounds let's see if i moved it up any at all with that little bit of adjustment All right, that had to move it up some. All right, y'all, as y'all saw down there, I think my little bit of adjustment was a little bit too much. So I'm gonna take one more five shot group. I moved the sight post back up a little bit. I'm gonna try to bring it down some now. Let's see what we can get, y'all. Five more rounds down there. All right, that should have brought it down some at least. All right, y'all, I'm gonna leave it right there as far as the paper goes today. Like I say, once I put that optic on there, I'll definitely dial it in some more. But for now, that's perfectly good enough for me out here on the steel. So uh, I got us 10 rounds loaded up. I'm gonna put five on the 50 and five on the 75 out there. This wind's really picking up, I can tell you that. Let's see what we can do out there. Was that five? I can't even tell how. I don't remember how many that was. Let's just put the rest on the 75 out there.
That was it. All right, so we got five on the 50, five on the 75. It's a pretty good little shooter right here. All right, y'all, that actually wasn't a bad group out there at 50. Wasn't too terrible at 75, but now we're going to go out there to the 100. I got 20 rounds loaded up this time, so I'll probably put 10 of them out there at 100 and then uh, hit these other last 10 up here close or something. We'll do something with them, but let's see what we get, y'all, out of the 100. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm hitting out there. It's just hard to hear it. Yeah, I can hear it definitely now. Let me turn my volume up some. I think that one missed. There we go. I've totally lost count. I have no idea where I'm at, how many I'm at. Let me move this in a little bit. see where i'm at out there all right that grouping looks like a little uh high and to the left up there which i was holding a little bit high so i'm gonna try to move it down a little bit just with my hold is that it yeah that was it so pretty decent out there i guess it was up it looks like a little bit high and to the left i think that's just probably need some little bit of adjustment but like i said i ain't gonna mess with that until i put the optic on it all right y'all i got us a couple two liters set up down there we're gonna pop them open i don't know if those will be real dramatic being as it's just 22 magnum but they'll probably be pretty decent so let's see what we can get them to do y'all that wasn't too bad all right not too bad not too bad all right y'all let's see if we can end it off with a few boom booms out here these ain't the ones i normally use these are those fire brands that are pre-mixed so they're not quite as dramatic as what i use but they'll be all right um hopefully they ain't picky like them other ones they they are sometimes but hopefully they'll cooperate with us today let's see what we can do with them All right, that last one was definitely a good one. All right, y'all, this wind's starting to kick up pretty hard, so we're calling it right there for the CMR30. Pretty neat little unit right here for sure. Uh, run great out here, no problems out of it. Pretty accurate so far for what it is, especially with just some flip-up backup sights on it all the way out to 100. I was hitting pretty consistently out there. Um, like I say, I'm going to be sticking an optic on this, so y'all definitely going to be seeing some more of this pretty soon, uh, testing out that thing and getting it sighted in a little better. It's definitely a unique little tool, got some really nice features to it. Um, it makes me actually now want to get a PMR, since they're the same mags and everything so i may pick one of them up here shortly but y'all let me know what y'all's thoughts are on this thing have you seen this before like i say it's been out for a long time uh, i've seen it in the past but i've never seen one locally uh that's been available for me to pick up so i couldn't resist it was just so different but let me know what y'all's thoughts are on it and if y'all actually have one of these it's definitely a nice compact little carryable package once you put the stock in and all that so i think it's pretty neat but if y'all did enjoy the video as always make sure you reach down and hit that thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that bell notification icon so when i upload new videos hopefully you can get notified and check them out check out all my affiliate links down below y'all know if you shop through amazon anyway hit that link up first go straight through amazon like normal and anything you buy anywhere on the site after going through that link i get a kickback from them towards the channel so i do appreciate that check out the actual affiliate links if you're looking for some good ear pro at some big savings versus going straight through their website appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all who support the channel by watching my videos hitting that thumbs up subscribing to the channel and leave me some comments down below what do you think about this little cmr 30 that's probably gonna do it for me today i just had a couple things planned i wanted to get done out here and this wind's starting to kick up so i'm getting the heck out of here but i got a whole bunch of stuff coming y'all's way so you make sure you stay tuned for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see y'all soon